Hey everybody, it's Necap here, and welcome to This Week in WoW for the week of July 9th. First off, a special shout out to Patreon member Rep Pally Rocks. A huge thank you uh, to you for the support. Uh, and now we will go ahead and get started with the Mythic Plus affixes for this week. This week, and again, uh, once again, we're kind of saying goodbye to some of these affixes as we come into the War Within. Uh, but we have Fortified, Entangling, and Bolstering. Again, that's Fortified, Entangling, and Bolstering. I'm not sure exactly what's going to pop back up before the end of the expansion, but Entangling and Bolstering, uh, you know, this could be the last week that you do them, even if, uh, you know, they come back up one more time or something like that. Uh, you know, we're kind of saying goodbye to the old ways of the affixes, and we'll we'll continue to say goodbye to them each week here. Uh, I might stop doing the Mythic Plus affixes for the videos. Um, once the pre-patch starts, we'll see. We'll, we'll see uh, what, what people are into playing and what people are into doing uh, when that time comes. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on in the game this week. Uh, we do have the Dark Moon Fair this week. I always do spiel on Dark Moon Fair. Uh, you know, pets, mounts, prizes, achievements, uh, and of course, always hoping for that remaster to it that they've talked about doing before. I know that they've changed some of the assets, so I'm hoping that we get that maybe in the War Within. That'd be really, really cool. We also have PvP Brawl, Dark, uh, South Shore versus Terra Mill. We also have World Class Bonus Event. This is one I always encourage people to do because it's very uh, efficient and worthwhile in a lot of cases. We have a small event called the Luminous Luminaries. I actually have tried this one out before. Um, I, I always kind of mention these small ones. This I don't really know what the point of this one is. It's, it's not one I recommend you going and trying or anything like that. Um, just again, maybe it could be cool. They could maybe turn it into something cool. But just not enough development has gone into some. I think maybe a lot of these were like pet projects of one developer or something like that. Uh, but they all could use a little bit of love. The one day ones especially. Um, other than that, uh, that's like all the main stuff going on in the game this week. We didn't have a ton of news or anything this past week. It was a little bit dry on news, especially as we get very close to the pre-patch here. However, uh, basically as I'm recording this, a new beta build is coming out. Uh, I saw some initial stuff with it. Nothing huge was in there. If there is anything big with the beta build, I don't know if that video will come out before this one or after this one. But if I'm not talking about it in this one, that's why, right? It's happening right now as, I, as I'm recording this. So um, so no no big news last week in beta changes or, or the War Within changes, I should say. And hopefully that will change this week and we can have uh, some, some more changes coming in. Well, uh, what I've been personally doing is doing uh, Mythic Plus on the, the beta, taking a step back from doing the raid testing, honestly. I've, I've done pretty much every boss except for the last boss. So I've seen, you know, what I want to see for the most part, uh, but still doing some Mythic Plus, trying some different Mythic Plus things out, trying to test out sp specific talents as well, uh, rep paladin based stuff as far as that goes. And I have even ventured into playing a little bit of Dragonflight. Uh, just, and, and we'll talk about this next, but just watching the TGP this past weekend, the great push, um, with the augmentation evokers in every single, uh, composition or whatever, it actually made me want to play my augmentation evoker. Um, I think it's just fun to play dungeons with. I don't think I'd ever want to play it in a raid, but I think they're just kind of fun to play dungeons with in a lot of ways. And, you know, I was just playing on my augmentation evoker a little bit, and I might even do that, you know, later tonight as well. Uh, having a having a decent amount of fun doing that, so that that was really cool, and it was a reason for me to actually play uh, some Dragonflight as well. We did. I don't talk a lot about esports or anything on the channel, but um, we did just have the TGP this past weekend, the first week of it, and then there'll be this next weekend, and then there'll be like the finals the weekend after that or something like that. Um, I always love the TGP. Uh, what it is is basically you. It's kind of like the MDI, the Mythic uh, Dungeon International, but it's um, it is still time-based, but it's actually like about pushing your keys higher. And so you're seeing like world record keys done and it's actually really, really cool to watch. I always say I'm not a huge mythic plus fan in, in all honesty. I don't love mythic plus. Um, I, I have fun doing it at like the very beginning of the season and doing every dungeon like a handful of times. And then I get pretty bored of it. But if myth, if like, <laughs> if I could do the kind of stuff that they're doing in the TGP, um, 
then I would think it was really, really cool, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but of course, that would require a lot of time and effort and skill, which I, I like to believe I have the skill, but I do not have that time and effort uh, to do so. So uh, I'll probably never do that, but I do think it's really cool and I really respect the people who do do that. And even though I'm not even into esports that much, I always enjoy watching that stuff and, you know, implementing anything I can into my own Mythic Plus runs, even though I'm mostly doing pugs and not doing, we're not going to be doing these insane strats. Uh, sometimes it's cool to, even if you do one little thing that's like extra, saves you a bunch of time or something, you know, it can be really cool, at least in my opinion. So I watched that this weekend um, on, you, and you just watch that on World of Warcraft YouTube, World of Warcraft Twitch channel if you're if you're a Twitch enjoyer, uh, you can watch it live. I, I personally recommend just watching the VOD on YouTube. <laughs> it's a lot better when you, you can skip through something or whatever. Uh, it's a lot higher quality in my opinion. So uh, that's something you can do there. So I definitely enjoyed that this weekend, uh, watching that, playing some Dragonflight, doing some Mythic Plus on the beta, still farming a little bit of Rons on Remix. I'm pretty much like super World of Warcraft it out right now. Um, you know, I, and I, I'm not playing Cataclassic. I'm not playing Sod. There, there's no time for that at this point. There's so many different, like, pretty good options of things to do in World of Warcraft right now, which is very exciting and very good. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, hoping for more news this coming week. Uh, I guess there's no guarantee that'll happen. We have this beta build. Maybe there'll be some good changes in that. Of course, I'll cover all videos. I'll do videos on anything, basically anything I find super exciting. Super interesting. Those are the kind of videos I do. I know I've been a ton of Retribution Paladin content, which is really, really good for the Retribution Paladin viewers. But I do want to do, you know, other content as well. There just hasn't been a bunch of things. Like I did a whole thing about Delves, you know, the Mythic Plus changes, you know. But so, so far that news has been like very spaced out. So I'd love to see some some big changes, some big uh, news that's also good, right? I don't want to just cover something because it's bad. I would, I would, I would like to cover it because that's actually cool, and I think it's going to be good for the game or good for the players or whatever. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. But of course, I'll keep the ret videos coming too, especially um, anytime anything changes or anything. I'll definitely have those videos. Th those videos will always be coming. But I like to throw some other stuff in there sometimes, basically. Uh, but yeah. Um, I guess we'll call it quits on that one since we didn't have uh, on this one because we don't have much to talk about. So as always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, I encourage you to check out the Patreon that we talked about at the top of the video. And other than that, everybody have a good one.